Hotep Tekman 2, my name is Lord Yukili Osa. I'm broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Laws and Astrology. And today I'm just going to be talking about the Rainbow Children and who are the Rainbow Children? Why are they here on Earth? What is their responsibility on Earth? What are they doing here? You know what I'm saying? You don't hear a lot about the, the Rainbow Children and why they're here and how they came here and stuff like that. So I'm going to be sharing with you who the Rainbow Children are. And yes, they are indeed here. They've been here. They've been here for a long time, for a few eons now. You know what I'm saying? Um, at least three e eons of years, uh, according to my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Now, the Rainbow Children are here and their primary role is to help humans evolve. All right. They're, they're helping humans evolve. And their primary role is to rebuild or reestablish a rainbow bridge. So you have to understand that the humans was like completely like abused by the Anunnaki's, completely abused by the Draconian reptilians, completely abused by the grace. When they when they took us and they and they tried to like kill us off and we wasn't kid dying off and stuff, they took us and over years, eons of years, they they modified our DNA, our genes, so that we wouldn't be more powerful and more effective and stuff like that. Because you have to remember, when humans was created by the Anunnaki's, you, know, you definitely want to watch my video on, you know, um, who are the Anunnaki's and how was humans created. Watch that video so that you can find out more about how humans was engineered. You know what I'm saying? And um, and so you like you have to understand that we was very very powerful and we was a threat to all of the gods and the all of the, the universes because we were very powerful and we are like a combination of all of the different aliens inside of us one being the humans so what they did was they said how can we stop them because we we keep doing these natural disasters but they're not dying you know what i'm saying how can we kill them off so what they did was they decided to you know um uh, hack into our central processing un unit, which is our cognitive system, the limbic and the neocortex part of our brains, and they begin to like, you know, um, re um, rewrite our DN genetic strands. You know what I'm saying? They they also begin to remove. You know what I'm saying? A link between the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. There was a bridge between those two. You know what I'm saying? That's like why, why when you die, right? You leave the third dimension and you cross over from the fourth dimension into the fifth dimension. Well, that crossing over, you're crossing over on a rainbow bridge. Our ancestors, my ancestors tell me that we cross a, a rainbow bridge. We got to cross that rainbow bridge to get to the other side, to get to the fifth dimension, right? Well, that rainbow bridge is... Is, is 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 literal it's physical right but it's also symbolic it's metaphoric when you're dealing with this plane the third dimension you know what i'm saying and that rainbow bridge is physical that's something that they really got to do they got to make that crossing if you got to study the great crossings they got to make that cross over the rainbow bridge from the third from the fourth dimension to the fifth dimension where our ancestors are you know what i'm saying and um that rainbow bridge was also in our brain it was it was the gap it's the gap between the subconscious mind and the conscious mind you see what i'm saying and so the rainbow children have come back so that they can re assist man in rebuilding and in and, and reconstructing a rainbow bridge in our minds that will link our conscious to our subconscious mind so that we can tap into the infinite uh, unlim unlimited supply of divine energy what some call universal life source energy what some call God particle energy which I call divinity energy some call organ energy where you get the word organic from some call it triple black uh, matter energy I call it divinity energy divine energy that source energy you know what I'm saying and so basically we visit we visit from our conscious mind we visit the subconscious you know what I'm saying? Sometimes through different Aoyaska ceremonies and rituals. You know what I'm saying? Our ancestors visited the subconscious mind when they got high and smoking the weed. You know what I'm saying? And the DMT rituals and stuff like that. We might visit that realm and then come back and put something, you know what I'm saying, of substance and spirit into this world. You know what I'm saying? We might visit that, go on a little trip and visit that and come back or whatever. And we'll come back and we'll come back with some, with some powerful healing 
techniques and stuff like that. So we visit that sometimes. So we might even go into a different geographical location that will portal us into another realm that would accelerate our thinking and our thoughts. And we might travel, you know what I'm saying, from our consciousness, our conscious mind to the to the our subconscious mind simultaneously and then come back and then we got the ability to fly like you know one of my brothers told me that he went to uh florida to florida keys you know what i'm saying and he came back with the ability to fly and he was afraid to reveal it to humans because he didn't want to get you know what i'm saying uh uh kidnapped by the cia or the fbi and killed you know what i'm saying and so he keep it a secret but he can fly right now you know what i'm saying that's because he went to florida keys to the florida keys and in that geographical location where he said he was, he was sun gazing and he had the ability to fly. And ever since then, he'd been flying. That's because he was able to take that trip from his conscious mind to his subconscious mind and link up to that ability. You know what I'm saying? Tap into that ability. Well, the rainbow children are down here to help man re rebuild that rainbow bridge that will link the conscious mind to the subconscious mind that allow us to tap into our abilities. Now you have all over the globe, people are practicing telepathy, working on building their ability to uh, communicate with people telep uh, uh, telepathically. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have people working on their ability of teleportation. You know, you have people working on their ability to fly, their ability to read minds, to push thoughts in people's minds, to create, you know what I'm saying, realities. To, uh, to be interdimensional, to communicate with plants in the David community, communicate with animals by just using their mind, you know, to levitate off the ground. You have people working on developing their abilities of being invisible all around the world right now. This is taking place because there's a great awakening taking place. So you might think I'm crazy, but you definitely want to go to my, my playlist and, 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 and go to the playlist where it says superhero academy the superhero academy and check out those videos and you will see real life videos of people levitating and flying and showing you how to do it you see what i'm saying and so um and so basically the rainbow children they come back and they're telling people if you want to if you want to link your conscious mind to your subconscious mind you have to change your diet you have to get on a strict regimen of eating, you know what I'm saying? Raw foods and vegan, period. You know what I'm saying? Because the meats and the and the dairy modifies you. It causes a genetic modification. I don't care if you burn the meat, I don't care if you fry the meat to it's burnt. When when the meat breaks down to your immune system, it's gonna return back to blood plasma. So the blood of that animal mixed with your human blood causes a genetic uh, a DNA, a genetic modification and modifies you and it stops you from reaching your true potential and your abilities. You see what I'm saying? That dairy robs you from, you know what I'm saying? From your ability to fly, from your ability to teleport, from your ability, you know what I'm saying, and do all of these great things as a human being. Because you're mixing your DNA with animals, so you're going backwards and you're not evolving. So the Rainbow Children came back to tell people to go vegan. You know, you find a lot of Rainbow Children on, on the with the PETA movement, saving the pets and, you know what I'm saying, working to protest the pets and stuff like that. A lot of, uh, all of the Christian, all of the, uh, the Rainbow Children are v vegans and vegetarians, all of them, you know what I'm saying? And they work a lot in Whole Foods and health stores, you know what I'm saying, because their job down here is to find and research different plants and different, um, different, um, different plants and herbs and stuff like that. They research plants and herbs and they, and they promote plants and herbs, you know what I'm saying, like, like recently I got put up on a game on, on a, on a, on a new um, um, supplement is called blue green algae and that's found in Clement, Oregon. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they, and they, and they manufacture this or the, these, this algae, you know what I'm saying? And, in these pools, this, this directly under the sun, you know what I'm saying? And then when they crack open the shell, they, they abstract the, uh, the algae from it and they, 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 they have it in powder form and they have it in capsule form. I recommend the powder form. Basically when the scientists did their research on the algae, they put it under a microscope and they seen the formation of that algae make patterns that are similar to and exact to the um, the the sacred geometry of the seek the the tree of life and other different sacred geometry patterns and you have to understand that algae is older than human beings algae has been on this planet for billions of years you know what i'm saying so when you take that supplement that blue green algae inside of your body it it reconnects you it reconnects your, 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 the, the sensors within your central processing unit. It reconnects, you know what I'm saying, your, your entire cognitive system. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it, and it, and it works on 
building, you know what I'm saying, cell blocks and building blocks inside of your man, um, your mind that will that will actually build that rainbow bridge and that 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 you can visit and go to from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind. So they deal with a lot of you know they research a lot of herbs and plants and vegetables and stuff like that, and they tell you the power and the and the, and the energy in those plant properties and herb properties. So you know they they you know the blue green algae is good when you want to activate your third eye. And also, you know, good with uh, with uh, with memory, focus. You know, what I'm saying, becoming extremely aware, um, um, being consciously aware of everything around you. That blue green uh, algae is very good with that. It's very good with for Merkaba activation meditations and stuff like that. You know, what I'm saying. Also, uh, the maca root. You want to get some maca root inside of you. The maca root is an abstract from. Um, a uh, a uh, uh, fruit that they that they grow in the hills in Peru. You know what I'm saying that the Peruvians and the ancients used to use that for energy and for clarity and for you know what I'm saying to to make that trip from the conscious to the subconscious mind. So you definitely want to get you some maca. That ayahuasca. You want to go to an ayahuasca ceremony where it's safe. You feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying, with them shamans, and they would take you from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind. When you come back from that trip, you definitely going to know the spirit. For sure, you're going to know the spirit, and you're going to be very powerful in this realm. So, you know, um, that's, what the, that's who the rainbow children are. The rainbow children are vegans, vegetarians. Uh, uh, they love pets. They're pet owners. They, de they defend animals, you know what I'm saying? They work in, in, in areas... This dealing with uh, health supplements. This dealing with herbs. You know what I'm saying? Um, those are the ones to smoke weed. Those are the ones that 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 you know that natural weed though. Those are the ones that 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 advocate for smoking weed. Those are the ones that push that whole marijuana movement. That those are the those are rainbow children. You know what I'm saying? Rainbow children is black, white, Mexican, Asian. Anyone who has you know their purpose in life is to is to push this health pro health thing. Those are rainbow children. You know what I'm saying? So my name is Lord Yukili Osai, and um, I'm broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 uh, uh, Cosmic Laws and Astrology. And that is my quick video on who rainbow children are, what their purpose is, you know, how you can recognize that they're rainbow children and things of that nature. So, you know, also I want to tell you, rainbow children have nothing to do with homosexual. That's just who they are. They're here to build that rainbow bridge. You know what I'm saying? That will link your conscious mind to your subconscious mind. The same rainbow bridge that your ancestors cross when they pass on from this realm and they have to cross from the fourth to the fifth dimension. That's that rainbow bridge that they cross. You know what I'm saying? So when you die and you say that you see a white light, you better run from that white light because that's dealing with Venus. That's Satan. That's 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 Lucifer. You don't want to go to the white light. You want to go to that rainbow bridge. If you see seeing white lights when you die, you know what I'm saying? Then that means you're going to have to repeat this whole little incarnation again you didn't get it when you was here on this time you know what i'm saying you're supposed to be seeing multiple lights you're supposed to be seeing a rainbow rainbow lights you know what i'm saying you ain't supposed to be seeing no white light that's that's lucifer go away from the white light don't go to the white light don't let them lie to you you know what i'm saying through t through television through tv because you got to remember you know what i'm saying television is telling lies to your vision that you don't want to follow the white light you want to follow that rainbow bridge you need to be looking for a rainbow bridge if you pass on from this reality you look for a rainbow bridge do not go to the white light or you're gonna have to reincarnate again stay away from that white light go into the blackness you know what i'm saying or you go to that rainbow bridge period and that's 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 what it's all about so you know um again my name is lawyer ukili osai I'm broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 cosmic laws and astrology hopefully you got something out of this video hotel tech my two